Hello everyone, my name is Lexi. I'm a naturalist that works for Baltimore Woods Nature Center, and today I'd love to give you some hiking tips. We've seen a big increase in the number of visitors coming to the preserve, which we absolutely love to see, um, but we just want to make sure that everyone has a positive experience out there. Hiking by yourself or with your family is a great way not only to exercise, but also connect with nature. There are a few things you should do before, during, and after your hike, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned hiker. Tip number one, do research. Look at a website, reviews, see if they have an online map available, go to their social media. You should be able to answer questions like, are there easy trails? Are there bathrooms? Are dogs allowed? Is Bigfoot roaming the forest? Know the answers to these questions before you go. And if you can't answer the questions for Baltimore Woods, make sure you check out our website or our social media. If you'd like to download a map before you come to the preserve, you can go online at baltimorewoods.org or you can download the Avenza app and download our new georeference map, which tracks your location using GPS. This is a really great feature for those of you that don't know our trails super well, because it'll help you navigate through the preserve. Tip number two, wear comfortable clothes. You don't want to be in anything that you're going to have to constantly adjust or in clothes that aren't appropriate for the weather. So make sure you check the weather before you leave the house. Wear layers and try to stay away from cotton. Synthetics are definitely the way to go. Tip number three. Wear sturdy shoes. You never really know what the trails are going to look like until you get to a site. So make sure you're wearing sturdy hiking boots or sneakers with good tread. And I always like to keep an extra pair of shoes in my car just in case uh, I get really muddy or if I get to a site and realize that my sneakers or my hiking boots aren't appropriate for the trails. Keep in mind that during the rainy season, it's going to be muddy out there. Your shoes are going to get dirty. We don't want to see any off-trail paths because those paths can widen the trail and they trample plants, which makes erosion worse, and it can make that muddy spot even worse as the season goes on. So plan on getting dirty and wear shoes that are appropriate for the trails. Tip number four, pack water and snacks. As a reminder, this park is carry in, carry out, so I like to keep a little baggie in my backpack or in my car so I know I have all my garbage before I leave. And if you have any straps on your backpack that go across your chest or your waist, definitely use them because they really do help distribute the weight so that your shoulders aren't aching halfway through your hike. Tip number five, pace yourself. If you've ever been to Baltimore Woods before, then you know there are a lot of hills here. That's part of the reason we all love hiking here, but it makes it all that more important for you to pick a pace that is sustainable. Think about what it's going to take to get back to your car. Going down the valley trail is really easy. Coming back up the valley trail, not so much. Luckily, we have a lot of benches here at the woods, so if you need to take a break, take one. Tip number six, make good choices. The outdoors is fun and refreshing place to be, but it does require you to take some preventative measures. So grab some sunscreen and bug spray on your way out the door and let someone know where you're going and which trails you plan on taking. At both the upper and lower parking lot kiosks, we have a hiker sign-in sheets. So make sure you fill those out just in case there's, a, there's an emergency. Animal encounters are pretty unlikely, but if you do encounter an animal, the National Park Service recommends you stay at a minimum 25 yards away from the animal. If the animal reacts to your presence in any way, you're too close. If you can take a selfie with the animal, you're definitely too close. Ticks are active at any temperature that's above freezing, so make sure you tuck your pants into your socks and that you're doing regular tick checks while you're out on the trails and when you get home. They don't attach right away, so I like to use a lint roller that's in my backpack or in my car. It makes tick checks really fast and really easy. If you do get a tick on you, don't panic. Use tweezers or a tick key to remove the tick and clean the area. If you'd like more information, go to the CDC website on ticks. 
at this time, please consider social distancing while you're hiking. That means staying at least six feet away from other people while you're on the trails and only hiking with members of your household. Our volunteers are out there on the trails trying to make sure that trail conditions stay uh, good for you and to check on any hazards or emergencies out on the trails. They would love for you to say hi, but they would also really appreciate if you did that from a distance. Please be respectful of people's space at this time and stay safe. Lastly, remember to have fun and enjoy yourself out there. Nature is beautiful and there are so many cool things to discover. If you take any pictures of yourself out on the preserve or something that you found, make sure you tag us on Instagram or Facebook and use the hashtag Baltimore Woods Nature Center. Stay safe, be kind, and happy trails. Bye!